Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Game of Thrones and The 100 from HBO and The CW. <clears throat> so let's talk about uh, Game of Thrones first. So I have watched six, six seasons of the now currently on eight. Um, I need to catch up obviously. But it is such an amazing show, and I really, really love it because it is, they put a lot of, a lot of effort into the show. Um, it's ruthless, and it really does keep you on the edge of your seat. Um, Storylines are freaking insane, and, and they really pulled out all the stops for, for Game of Thrones, and that's pretty awesome. The dragons look like, I mean, that's some of the best animation of even any cinematic movie, let alone a TV show. It's absolutely insane how how uh, realistic they look. Um, yeah, just, I mean, obviously, you know, it's of different kingdoms, and you're, you know, you have your own person that you're rooting for to take the Iron Throne. Um, over from Cersei Lannister. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I started the show not knowing what to expect or anything, and you know they had um, Sean Bean as you know, I guess the main character. I guess I shouldn't have even mentioned him because I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But, like, they have so many people on there. They have, um, Lena Headey from, uh, the Purge movie and from the, not Shadowhunters, but the, um, Mortal Instruments movie and the 100 movies, like, she's a big star. Like, they have uh, so many big stars and even unknowns in the show, and they interact very naturally and genuine, and the show does not care who your favorites are, it does not care how big the celebrity is, it does not, it is a ruthless, real show when it comes to things like that. Um, <clears throat> it's insane. Uh, I do highly recommend it if you haven't seen it, but I mean... As like something like 35 million uh, viewers, so I mean, I'd be it'd be insane if you haven't seen it yet because it's it, it is really an excellent show. Um, I do need to catch up on it though. Um, I love and hate a lot of the characters in the show. I don't know if any of them are in between. Uh, some decisions that some of the characters make are really stupid and some are really brilliant. Uh, their their storylines... The writers have done a really great job with... Um, with... Doing individual character arcs that intertwine into the bigger picture. Um, that's really nice <clears throat> that they do character arcs and they do the overall um, the overall story. I think that's pretty awesome because it's all gonna lead to one point. It's all gonna lead to the final battle, the final hurrah of it all. Um, I just I can't believe how insanely um I I really need to read the books cuz this is based on a book series if you didn't know that. Um and somebody said that um the author was waiting to release the final book cuz I guess he has it finished or they have it finished and um I don't know much about the whole book aspect of it yet, but I will, because I love to read as well, so I'm going to read the books. But I heard that they were uh, leaving out releasing the last book until the last season, 
is released so nothing gets spoiled which is pretty awesome I think that that's a very excellent idea um, so everybody loves Game of Thrones right it's a huge show hugely popular I mean the Walking Dead and Game of Thrones are pretty much the two, the top two shows on TV. And then, you know, but, uh, an American Horror Story is another huge show. But, anyway, so everybody loves the Game of Thrones because it is ruthless. You do have your favorites. You do want to see if they make it to the end. If your favorite character makes it, who makes it to the end? Who makes it to the end? Who is the one that um, gets the Iron Throne? The whole nine yards, right? So, the, ga the Game of Thrones airs on the HBO network. And there's another show that's also equally ruthless does their individual character arcs and it intertwines into the main story and I'm actually more invested in it um and it's the 100 on the CW network um now the CW is a smaller network it's definitely not HBO or anything but the way that they handle the 100 is literally the exact same way that they handle Game of Thrones. It is ruthless. You have your fa favorite characters. You hate, you know, you hate certain ones, and you want to see who makes it to the end, who survives, who fights forward. Um, and it is a show about survival, just like uh, Game of Thrones ultimately is. It's survival of the fittest. It's, you know, who is gonna rule over all these divisions and bring them together under one united kingdom and the 100 <coughs> sorry guys the 100 is about our world after a nuclear fallout um it's believed to not be to not have life on it and the it was like a hundred years into the future um well, anyway, there were some uh, survivors uh, who escaped Earth and, you know, was on a ship and lived on a ship. A hundred years went by. Um, obviously, uh, generations had passed and everything. Well, they came, they just orbited Earth because they couldn't actually be on Earth because of, of the nuclear fallout and stuff. And they had their laws and everything. And um, most people who broke really serious laws were, um, were sent flying in space. Like, they died. That was the end of the story. They were committed of crime. They were let loose into the vacuum of space done your story is done and it, it is very ruthless and um it happened to a, a lot of good people but it's the way that they were able to maintain order for it was like a hundred years or, or around a hundred years or something like that <clears throat> and so the ship um starts running out of oxygen and the guy who figured that out, well, the people in charge, you know, sent him packing <laughs> to space uh, because they didn't want to cause a panic and everything and they wanted to do everything their own way. And so they were they needed to find any kind of uh, spot on the earth that was livable. And they did find a little itty bitty green patch. And so instead of 
everyone going down at once. They sent 100 of their delinquents, because who cares if criminals die, um, or misbehaving people die. Uh, they sent 100 of these people down to the surface, because if there's still nuclear radiation or whatever on the surface, who cares? You just got rid of 100 uh, criminals. Um, but they're delinquents, they're younger, I think that that's why they weren't sent flying in space and died, but <clears throat> it's been so long since I've seen the first season. Um, well anyway, so the Earth does have a spot, they do land, and the spot is livable. Now there is times where... Um, the wind will blow nuclear radiation their way, or, you know, kind of weird things like that. Um, and they soon find out that they're not the only livable, they're, they're not the only, um, people that survived the nuclear fallout. Um, there are, there, there were others, and you'd have to find that out. I'm not into spoiling anything. So, you'll have to check that out. It's an amazing show. It's on the... Sorry, my dog is... Clap, clap, clap. Anyway, um... So... The 100 is an amazing show. It's on an extremely underrated network, and it's, it's an extremely underrated show... And it deserves to be just as big as Game of Thrones. If people love Game of Thrones, they're definitely going to love the 100. Because they are... The only difference is that one has dragons and one does not. That's that's really the only difference. Other than the obvious, massively different storyline. But... Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so if you love the one hundred, if you love Game of Thrones, check out the one hundred on the CW. Um, the sixth season hasn't aired yet, and it's already been renewed for a seventh season. That's how great the show is, and that's how much faith the network has in it. And it also is based on uh, books as well. So, I think that everyone should check it out. It's it's an amazing show. The acting is so top notch. They do such an excellent job. It is such an excellent show. I don't even understand how this show is not as big as The Walking Dead or or Game of Thrones even. And you can the the great thing about this. So it airs on the CW network. And the CW app is free, so you can watch all the new episodes on the CW app for free. So you can stream it on the CW app. You can stream it on the CW.com. You can watch it on the CW when it airs. And you can watch all five seasons on Netflix before season, well, season six airs tomorrow, so you're not going to be able to watch all five seasons before you can watch the, the sixth season. But the CW signed a deal with Netflix where um, eight days after the current season's finale, it's added to Netflix. So you don't have to wait all year to watch it before, or you don't have to wait... All year to watch it before, because usually most networks add shows like two weeks, their, their past seasons two weeks before the premiere of their new seasons, and then you have to rush around and, you know, try to fit in work and watching this instead of doing it at your own pace. The CW has a deal where the season is released eight days after the finale, so... Eight days after season six's finale, it will be added to Netflix. <clears throat> and then you have all year 
until you, you know, to, to binge watch and watch and catch up and learn about it before the next season comes out. And I think that that's excellent. I think that's an intelligent idea. I think that every network should do that because it, it, it gets people a really, um, even new viewers, you know, if new viewers are coming in, they don't have to cram everything in at once. I think that that's an unintelligent decision to to put a show on in an extremely short amount of time where people can't most times can't can't fit that into their life be, and catch up on a show before the new season airs. So the CW does an incredible job. I think that it is one of the most underrated network. It is the most underrated network. Uh, the 100 is an extremely underrated show, especially since a lot of attention goes to... And I'm not bashing Game of Thrones at all. Not at all. I'm not even bashing... I mean, we'll talk about The Walking Dead, because The Walking Dead has <laughs> hit some spots lately. But, um... The 100. Check out The 100. It is an excellent show. It is an insane show. It is a ruthless show. It is a, sh a survival show. It is... And another great thing is... Um, it's not 22 episodes long, so you don't have to try and catch up all that time. No, it is... They have anywhere from 13 to 15 episodes a season because they just do their story. They don't have a, they don't have any um, filler time. It is all story, all natural, all genuine, all straightforward, and it flows. Um, so, guys, if you love survival shows like The Walking Dead and and Game of Thrones check it out because it is the 100 is literally one of the best shows ever made that's that's that it is one of the best shows ever made it is <sighs> it is straight up amazing guys so I can't even say enough good things about it. Um, it has such great characters like Bellamy and Clark and Octavia. And and all these characters are so diverse and so different from one another. And that's what makes it really um, stand out. That's what makes it really unique. That's what makes it, um, you know, on the edge of your seat because you don't know you don't know who's going to do what and everything and how this person's going to react or how this person is going to do this when the other person wants to do something completely different and they're both just as ruthless or both just as determined to get to their end goal. It's just their way of doing it. Um, so it is absolutely insane. Um, there, There's just so much that goes on into the 100. So, check it out. Now, I, I wanted to make this video an equal of Game of Thrones and the 100, but... I mean, everybody's watched the one, uh, Game of Thrones, and everybody, you know, has their own view, opinion, and their own thoughts and everything on, on um, Game of Thrones. I don't think that I need to spend too much time on Game of Thrones because everyone's caught up on that. Everyone knows about that show. And, yeah. So I said my I said my piece with that, and I will do another review video after I catch up and everything because um, I... Actually, I was three episodes into Season 7. So that's where I'm at on Game of Thrones. Um... And I, I can't wait to see what happens next.
Um, it's just that I don't have HPO, so I have to <laughs> catch it here or there whenever I absolutely can. And I do. I'll, I'll sit there and I'll watch it when I can. And um, I'm going to have to buy uh, Season 7 on Blu-ray so I can catch up and then Season 8. I do own the rest of the, the seasons, though, so that's good. Um, it is definitely a show worth owning in 4K, though. The 100 should be in 4K, too. Um, overall, the 100 is way better than The Walking Dead, in my opinion. I, I loved The Walking Dead <clears throat> for the first six seasons. I think that's season seven, and because I've watched half of season eight already, and I think that season seven and season eight are terrible. The Walking Dead lost their way. It is terrible. Um, now I heard, because I'm not caught up on, I mean, obviously I haven't finished season eight, and it just takes everything in me to finish season eight because I hate it that much. I have hated it so much since season seven. Season seven was so awful. Season eight is no better. So it's just like, oh. And I heard that season nine is a complete turnaround. Like, people are praising the ninth season. And that it's one of the best seasons that has been made so far. And a lot of crazy stuff is happening. And people are excited about it again. But it just takes everything in me to, to get caught up. Because, ugh. They did a terrible job with season seven, season eight. <clears throat> so I, I have, well, I had three favorite characters, and now I have two favorite characters. Um, my two favorite characters that are still on is Carol and Daryl. By far, they are by far my top two favorite that are remaining from from the beginning of the show onwards like they are Carol and Daryl that's it those are my two favorites um, and I, I really do think that they did such an excellent job with The Walking Dead for for its first six seasons they did really great they were really creative they the, you know, the makeup job the for the zombies and everything, or walkers, um, it, like, everything was so good about it, and then they ruined it, but I have to force myself to watch it, because I've already gotten this far, so I can't just stop on season eight and not go forward. So I'm going to have to force myself to continue watching this ridiculous 8th season just so I can get into the good stuff on season 9. So. <sighs> yes. Um. Yeah. To 100. I do strongly believe that everyone should check out the 100. If you like the walk, if you if you like or love the Walking Dead, if you like or love Game of Thrones, you will love the 100. Because it's it doesn't have the scale that um the the Game of Thrones has because obviously they have a massive budget and they're able to spend as much as they possibly need or want. Um, but the CW doesn't make massive, massive amounts to where they can just spend whatever they wanted. But what they do have, 
they still have quality because they work with what they have. Um, they don't need a massive, huge, out-of-this-world production to create an amazing show like the 100. So, and, and there's no need. There's no need. And different shows re require different uh, budgets and things like that and the logistics of it all. Uh, so, and I'm really, really excited that the CW has already renewed the 100 for a seventh season before the sixth season even started. That That's a lot of confidence, and that says a lot about the 100. Um, so, if you can't catch up, or if you haven't caught up before the sixth season premier premieres tomorrow on April 30th, 2019, then you'll definitely be able to catch up on all before the seventh season because you'll have all year. <laughs> um, so uh, check it out, guys. Check it out. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um... No, I for um, Game of Thrones. I am rooting for the Mother of Dragons and for Jon Snow. Those are those are my two. I think that the the you know if they obviously they both can't sit on the throne, but um, <sighs> sorry. Um, I do wholeheartedly um, feel that one of the two needs to sit on the throne by the end of the show. Um, one of my all-time favorite characters, probably my favorite character on Game of Thrones is Brienne. absolutely love her. She is absolutely an amazing, loyal character um the actress is so funny uh i love that they had her in star wars as captain phasma and um yeah she's one of my favorites uh let's see tarion am i saying that right the the midget he is also one of my all-time favorite characters on Game of Thrones uh Tyrion Lannister well he's a Lannister I just you know um but him Bran Jon Snow uh Mother of Dragons like I I definitely love those four characters but the mother of dragons needs to be on the game on, on the Game of Thrones. Obviously, she is on the <clears throat> on the throne at the end. Um, yeah, I, I really love the direction. I really love the cinematography and everything of Game of Thrones. Same as the One Hundred. Um, I think that the 100 is a better show than The Walking Dead. I really do, because the 100 hasn't hit that. They just haven't been as obnoxious. Like, they've been really obnoxious because they are a ruthless show like Game of Thrones, but the writing and stories and characterization is just so much better in the 100 than The Walking Dead. But... That's nor here nor there, and that's based on an opinion. Everyone has one. So yours could be completely different, and that's fine. Um, but anyway, I think that... Yeah, so check it out, guys. The 100. Um, I'll keep you updated on Game of Thrones when I catch up. Um, it shouldn't take too long because their seasons are not that long. I have to force myself to watch The Walking Dead. That might be a little bit longer because 
at least with Game of Thrones, my excuse on not being able, not being caught up on that is me not having HBO and finding the time of work and all that stuff. It's not that I don't want to, because there's no roadblock. I want to. It's not the same story as The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is just like, they put up a roadblock, have to work around it, because it's just so, ugh. I have to force myself to watch it to get to season 9, because I know season 9 is so great, everyone says, so I, I can't wait to get to it. Um, and I'm all caught up on the 100, so I can't wait for for season 6's premiere tomorrow night. Can't wait, it's going to be awesome, because the way that they left, the way that they left... Um, season five, the end of the end of book one was season five, and um, the way that they ended it and left the door open for the possibilities and potential and everything. Oh my god, I'm so excited, so freaking excited about it. Um, but anyway, guys. If you've seen any of the three shows without spoiling, because I'm completely anti-spoiler, especially if people haven't watched it, um, you know, put the comments down in the comments section, like my channel, uh, or like the video, and subscribe to my channel, and people, we can talk about these shows after they finish, because I'm going to get caught up on the other two. But check out the 100, and we need to talk about the show. So, anyway, until next time, guys, have a great day.